Almighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, this can heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory over all adversaries, and by thy cross preserving thy estate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Do thou, who of thine own good will, was lifted up upon the cross, O Christ our God, bestow thy bounties upon the new nation, which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries, having in thy need a weapon of peace, and a trophy of this war. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. O champion dread, who cannot be put to confusion, despise not our petitions, so good and all praise Theotokos. Establish the way of the Orthodox, save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us all to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gave us birth to God, and alone our blessing. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy we pray thee. Hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our Father and Metropolitan Saba and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind. And unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless Father, in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Holy God, substantial life, giving an undivided trinity, always, now and ever. Unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. O Lord, open now my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, open now my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many are they that say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I awaked for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth to the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awake, but the Lord sustain me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. For thine arrows stick fast in me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger. Neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities are gone over my head. As a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long, for my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken. 
I have roared by reasons of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for the light of mine eyes, it is also gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things, and imagine deceits all the day long. But I as a deaf man heard not, and I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus I was, as a man that heareth not, and in his mouth are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope. Thou will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. Mine enemies are lively, and they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are my adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, and my flesh longeth for thee, in a dry and thirsty land where no water is, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in my name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips, when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek after my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help. Therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, and find thine ear unto my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a, as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put away mine acquaintances far from me. Thou hast made me abomination unto them. I am shut up, I cannot come forth. My eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Would thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in thy grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I sit for thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me, thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water, they compassed me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me, and mine acquaintances into darkness. O Lord, Lord God, God of my salvation. salvation. I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear unto my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all them that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. 
He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Like a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so, sh so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall be no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all, in all places, places of his dominion, dominion. Bless, bless the Lord, Lord O my soul. soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man live and be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground, he hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, within me my heart is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I muse on the work of thy hands, I stretch, I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, o Lord for my spirit faileth, hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I shall walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good, lead me to the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy, cut off mine enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O Lord, our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those with faith, reverence and the fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Saba, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our President, civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious, Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
submit a yoke or in thy voluntary sufferings, Hades was overwhelmed and moaned within itself, saying, Verily I am in dread fear of the person of this incorruptible body, for I see the unseen fighting me secretly, and behold those whom I have held shouting, Glory to thy resurrection, O Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us believers speak of divine things, of the secret of thine inscrutable crucifixion, of thine ineffable resurrection. For today have, have death and Hades been led captive, and the race of man hath been invested with incorruption. Therefore do we cry in gratitude, glory to thy resurrection, O Christ. Now endeavor unto ages of ages, amen. Verily, O Theotokos, the incomprehensible and boundless, consubstantial with the Father and the Spirit, hast thou secret, held secretly in thy womb, and by thy birth giving we have learned to glorify in the world the act of the one immiscuable trinity. Therefore, with great gratitude we cry to thee, rejoice with thou who art full of grace. In paradise of old the tree stripped me bare, for by giving me its fruit to eat the enemy brought in death. But now the tree of the cross that clothes men with the garment of life has been set up on earth, and the whole world is filled with boundless joy. Beholding it venerated, O ye people, let us with one accord raise in faith our cry to God. His house is full of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In paradise of old, the tree is truly bare, for by giving me its fruit to eat, the enemy is wrong to his death. But now the tree of the cross that clothes them with the garment of life has been set up on earth, and the whole world is filled with boundless joy. Beholding it, venerated, O ye people, let us with one accord raise it, raise in faith our cry to God. His house is full of glory. Oh, 
taken in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our own holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
beheld the resurrection of Christ. Let us bow down before the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross do we adore, O Christ, and thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee. We call upon thy name. O come, all ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection. For lo, through the cross is joy come into all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For in that he endured the cross, he hath destroyed death by death. Shall they offer more? 
God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. <coughs> Visit thy world with mercies and bounties. Exalt the estate of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our all immaculate Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life giving cross who we, whose worship we celebrate, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, and of all the holy prophets, of the holy, glorious, and all the laudable apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all the holy apostles, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs, and ecumenical teachers, vows of the great Gregory the Theologian and John Chrysostom, of our fathers among the saints, Athanasius, Cyril, and John the Merciful, patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra, Spiridon of Tremuthus, and Nectarius of Pentapolis, the wonder workers. Nikolai of Zicha, who labored in America, innocent evangelizer of Alaska and Tikhon, patriarch of Moscow, enlighteners of North America. John, wonder worker of Shanghai and San Francisco, Raphael of Brooklyn, the presbyters, Jacob of Alaska and Alexis of Wilkes-Barre of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George the trophy bearer, Demetrius the mercy streaming, Theodore the soldier, and Theodore the general, and Minas the wonder worker, of the, holy, of the higher martyrs, Ignatius the god bearer of Antioch, Carlampos, Eleutherius, Cosmos, Cosmos of Etolia, Juvenali of Iliamna, John and Alexander missionaries to America, and higher martyrs of the Bolshevik yoke, of the holy, glorious, great women martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskiva, Irene, and Elizabeth, the Grand Duchess, new martyr of Russia, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, especially Peter, the Aleut, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers and mothers who shone forth in the ascetic life, Anthony the Great, Sergius of Radonez, Seraphim of Sorov, Hermit of Alaska, Siloan of Mount Athos, and Mary of Egypt, of St. Philip the Apostle, patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy martyr, Calliopeus of Perga in Pam Pam Pamphylia, our father among the saints, George Bishop of M Mytilene, 
the holy martyrs Ruf, Ruf, Rufinus, the deacon Aquilina, and the 200 with them at Sinope in Pontus, our righteous father Lucius of Volo Kolomsk, Saint Serapion, Archbishop of Novgorod, the recovery of whose holy relics we commemorate, our righteous father Daniel of per Perioslavo Zaleski, the holy new martyrs George and Aquilina the fools for Christ's sake, of Rabishka, of Saint Tikhon, the patriarch of Moscow and the apostle, apostle to North America, whose memories we celebrate today, and of all the saints, we beseech thee, O merciful Lord, hearken unto us petitions of us sinners who have make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy.
let us honor and magnify in song. My soul does magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. Lord, unruffled in the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without sin bearest not the word, and are truly there, O Lord, most we magnify thee. For he hath recorded the holiness of his handmaiden, for behold, from its forth all generations shall call me blessed. <coughs> Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
which the world doth glorify. Wherefore, have mercy upon us. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Verily, all creatures were filled with joy when they received the glad tidings of thy resurrection. For Mary Magdalene, coming to thy grave, met an angel in a brilliant robe, sitting on the stone, who said, Why seekest thou the living among the dead? He is not okay. here.
right hand of the Father and have mercy on us. For thou, O we are told thee, thou, O we are the Lord of Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified be thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we do put our hope in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in all generations. I said, be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto Continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty. to ages of 
Let us attend. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people. Sisters, we have a special blessing today that the cross that we have has a, a little reliquary that has a little piece of the true cross in the top front 
and you can venerate that very gently. Please don't knock it off. We're gonna, we made our three bows together. We're gonna let the clergy venerate first and then the choir, and then the liturgy will start when the choir is done and then, and then everybody else can come at the beginning of liturgy. When we are kissing the cross, of course, we are thanking God for his love, his great love, and we're saying open our hearts to understand your love more.
to the Lord. Lord For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Saba, the Honorable Presbyter, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our president, civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the city and every city and countryside, and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. The light of thy countenance, O Lord, hath been signed upon us. Thou hast given a sign unto them that fear thee, that they may flee from before the face of the foe. Thou hast ascended on high, thou leddest captivity captive. Thou 
thou hast given an inheritance to them that fear thy name. Through the intercessions of the veiled of our Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the veiled of our Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our whole holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, to all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the day of the Apostle, and ever Virgin of all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
wisdom stand upright. to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, holy art thou, O our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Unto thee, O Lord, will I cry, O my God. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's Epistle to the Hebrews. Let us attend. Brethren, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast the confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our infirmities, but one who has been in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore draw near with boldness to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and may find grace to help in time of need. For every high priest being taken from among the people is appointed on behalf of the people in things pertaining to God, that he may offer up both gifts and sacrifices for sins, who can have compassion on the ignorant and on those who are erring, since he himself also is encompassed with infirmity. Because of this he is bound, as for the people, so also for himself, to offer up for sins. And no one takes the honor upon himself, but is called by God, as was Aaron. So Christ also did not glorify himself to become the high priest, but it was by the one saying to him, Thou art a priest forever, my son, today have I begotten thee. As he says also in another place, Thou art a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Peace be to thee, Lord. thy spirit, hallelujah, hallelujah, alleluia. congregation which thou hast purchased from the beginning. But God is our King before the ages. He has wrought salvation in the midst of the earth. Listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Lord said, If any would come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake in the Gospels will save it. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? For what can a man give in return for his soul? Whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him, 
will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels? And Jesus said to them, Truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God come with power. Son and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Christ is in our midst. He is in our it's a great privilege for me to be with you and Father Noah, Father James, this morning. I think Father Noah might be disappointed that all of you weren't here yesterday, but we enjoyed our time together. Thanks be to God. Or microphone. We've been fighting about the microphone for 15 years. Get rid of the car. No. In the gospel reading, I want to look at the context of this short passage we heard read three verses earlier. Jesus had begun to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things, be rejected, and be killed. So says Mark. Mark says he spoke this word openly, and this is where Peter rebuked him. Now, Father Noah, I've got a question for you. Personal question. Have you ever rebuked your bishop? Have you ever rebuked your bishop? <laughs> I don't have any inside knowledge here. I'm just asking rhetorically. Let's say no. You know better. Peter rebuked his teacher, because he said he must suffer many things, be rejected, be killed. I won't tell Bishop Thomas, Father Noah, that you might be dancing if he said those things about himself. No. Jesus rebuked Peter. I think this next line, get me behind me Satan, kind of recalls when Jesus came out of the wilderness and Satan tempted him at the beginning after his baptism. And it says in the Gospels that uh, the devil went away until a more opportune time. Perhaps this is one of those more opportune times. So he says, get behind me, Satan. You are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. I think maybe many of us could say the Lord would say those things to us sometimes. That we're mindful of the things of men more than the things of God. That is the context for today's gospel. 
Then to the people and his disciples, he says these words that we heard this morning. If any would come after me, if any would follow me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Jesus had begun to make it clear that he knows what is coming for him. To suffer many things, to be rejected, and to be killed. We are here at St. Philip's Orthodox Church this morning, ostensibly because we have all said we want to follow Christ. I hope you're serious. I hope you're serious about that. Because if you are, it may cost you. Father Noah hopes you're serious. But when all is said and done, now listen to me carefully, if half of you will follow, no, I'm going to reduce that. If ten of you would follow. His pastorate will have been wildly successful. You remember the ten lepers? Christ healed. One came back. Samaritan. One came back. And Christ says, where are the nine? If Christ healed you, would you come back? Would you come back? Christ says, if any would follow me, let him deny himself. How are we to do this? What does it mean to deny oneself? I'm going to suggest just one thing you can do. Very practical. One thing, one thing that sounds easy until you try to do it. Don't defend yourself. If you're accused of something that's true, like we say at the pre-sanctified when the priest is circling the altar with the incense, make no excuses for your sins. Don't defend yourself. Then you say, if something, if an accusation is true, you say, Lord, have mercy. That may be one of the reasons we pile on that olive oil, Lord, have mercy, so many times, because most of the accusations are true. So don't defend yourself, no excuses. Lord, have mercy. But what if the accusations are false? Our natural inclination is to defend ourselves. To say, oh, no, no, you misunderstood. Or, that's not what I meant. Or whatever. When you don't defend yourself against false accusations, you do that for Christ for his sake. Make no defense. Take up his cross in that way. And after you've done that a few times, after you've, instead of defending yourself, you say, I'm sorry. Please tell me again so I can really understand. I want to change. Father Noah gets accused from time to time, I imagine, and he thinks, that's not true. But if he says to whoever his accuser is, I'm so sorry. I make all kinds of mistakes. Would you forgive me and tell me more about that? I want to learn not to do that. Or maybe in your marriage, your wife or your husband 
snaps at you someday and accuses you of something, catches you on a bad day or whatever, and you want to defend yourself, just say, I'm so sorry. I know I'm, I make all kinds of mistakes. Help me learn to do better. When you do that, the argument's over. It's really marvelous. If somebody accuses you, and you don't defend yourself, but you say, that's probably true in some way. Help me understand. Help me grow. They might tell you one more time to make sure you heard them, but then the argument's over. And healing can begin where the wound was before. This is one way you can take up the cross. And when you do it, when you determine not to defend yourself, but accept the accusation. You know, I have a, a little saying I tell some people. If they accuse you of something and you know it's not true, and you accept it, what's going on is this, and th this is a silly little phrase, but it's right street, wrong address. You understand, those of you are laughing, get what I'm saying. They may not have it right on the money, but some, you've done something close to that. They didn't understand, well okay. Right street, wrong address. So this is what it is to take up your cross. And when you do it, it will feel like you're dying. You're giving up your power. You're weakening yourself. If they know this is true about you, will they ever respect you again, Father? It's a means of death, of yielding. And when Christ took up the cross, it yielded salvation. You know what he said quietly on the cross, Father, forgive them. They don't understand. They don't know what they're doing. And certainly they didn't. This is how we follow him to Golgotha. You know, when Christ took up the cross, there was no doubt where it was going. When we read the readings on Holy Thursday evening, those 12 long gospel readings, I still remember the first time I read those as a priest, and I turned the page, and there was two more pages. And I turned the page, and there's two more pages. I looked at it ahead of time, but it didn't strike me till right then how long this was. When Christ took up his cross, when he was helped with his cross, when those two others that were crucified with him were carrying their crosses, there was no doubt where that was going. He would come after me, let him deny himself, Take up his cross and follow me. One last thing. You have your own cross. It's not that one up there. That's his. Your cross isn't anything nearly so big, most of you. You have your cross, whatever it is. Maybe it's aches and pains as you're getting older. Or a child that's gone off to some other lifestyle other than what the church advocates and it breaks your heart or another child is going through a divorce or 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 you can fill in the blank and you have to bear that asking God's mercy on the situation and to trust God to let go of your power there and trust him to rectify the situation so the gospel ends, this passage ends. Truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God come with power. 
In the fathers, there are basically two interpretations of that that I've found. One is, the very next passage in Mark is about the transfiguration. And the sum standing there, Peter, James, and John. They get to be with Christ on that holy mountain. And certainly they saw the kingdom of God in power on that holy mountain. It so inspired John, made such an impression on the apostle John, that all his writings are full of this vision of light. The Gospels, 1st, 2nd, 3rd John, Revelation. The transfiguration colors all those. You have to read those writings with that in mind, that John is writing these after 60 years of contemplating what he saw in the holy mountain and, of course, the light of the resurrection. So some of the fathers say it's that. Some of it say it's the cross. As we venerate the cross today, we recognize in it the power of God, the glory of God, the mystery of his mercy toward us. And so we rejoice in that, and we lift it up, and we say we have seen the kingdom of God come with power. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, thank you for your patience. to the Lord he catechumens. Let us the faithful pray for the catechumens that the Lord will have mercy on them and he will teach them the word of truth that he will reveal to them the gospel of righteousness that he would guide us to his holy Catholic and Apostolic Church them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads to the Lord, ye catechumens. before thee and grant them the light yoke. Make them honorable members of thy church and make them worthy of the labor of a generation, the forgiveness of sins, the rub of incorruption unto the knowledge of thee, our true God. That with us they may glorify thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. As many as our catechumens depart, Lord, depart, Lord, Lord, catechumens, as many as our catechumens depart, let none of the catechumens remain. As many as are of the faithful, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace.
for to serve thee is a great and fearful thing, even to the heavenly powers. Nevertheless, to the unspeakable and boundless love toward mankind, that it's become man yet without change or alteration, and is master of all, does take the name of a high priest, and deliver unto us the ministry of this liturgical and noble sacrifice. For thou alone, O Lord our God, rulest over those in heaven and on earth, who are born in the throne of the cherubim, who are Lord of the seraphim.
his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. forgiveness of sins, especially the Archpriest James and his family and parishioners, the faithful of the Holy Land, Metropolitan Anufri and the faithful of Ukraine, the faithful of Ethiopia and Eritrea, Priest Andrew and family and parishioners, Maria Joyce, Mary Ann, Marina and family, Catherine, George, Maria, Patrick, Doris, John, James, Victoria, Steve, Lasha, Otari, Odessa, John, Angeliki, Chelsea, Nina, Zodikos, Salome, Xenia, Michael, Tatiana, Linda, Zerfanesh, Jesse, Nathan, Hannah, Elizabeth, Mary, and all missionaries, Nathan and family, and John, and all seminarians, new and expectant mothers and their children, and the, the people of our land for the repentance, healing, and unity, and all we have in mind. May the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox servants of God, who have departed this life in the hope of resurrection and life in the age to come, especially the newly departed Edward, Tesfaya, Marina, and Shota, the departed Risa and Nathan, the departed, Najib, Lorraine, Julia, Helen, Dina, Robert, Adele, and all of our beloved departed in Christ, may the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. complete our prayer unto the Lord. For the precious gifts set now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. For 
this holy house and those with faith, reverence and the fear of God, enter therein. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God.
hand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend, that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us Savior Jesus Christ, our hope who is the image of thy goodness, the seal of equal type, in himself showing forth thee, the Father, the living word, the true God, the wisdom before the ages, the life, sanctification, power, the true light, through whom the Holy Spirit was made manifest, the spirit of truth, the gift of adoption, the pledge of inheritance to come, the first fruits of eternal good things, the life-giving power, the fountain of sanctification, by whom enabled every rational and intelligent creature doth serve thee and ascribe to thee perpetual praise, for all things are thy servants. Yea, angels and archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, the many had cherubim, praise thee. Round about thee stand the six spring seraphim. With two they cover their faces, with two they feed, and with two they fly, continually crying out to one another with unceasing praises. Singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Blessed powers of Master, let us mankind be sinners also, we cry aloud and say, Holy art thou in the truth, and all holy in there, and are bound to the majesty of the Holy Spirit. Rest in the power of thy God, all thy works for righteousness and truth. of salvation, 
He released us from delusion of idols and brought us into a knowledge of thee, the true God and Father, having won us unto himself for his own people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. And having purified us by water and having sanctified us by the Holy Spirit, he gave himself a ransom to death, whereby we were held, sold into bondage under sin. And having descended into Hades through the cross, that he might fill all things with himself, he loosed the pains of death and rose again on the third day, making a way for all flesh into the resurrection from the dead. For it was not possible that the author of life should be held by corruption, that he might be the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn from the dead, that he might be in all things the first among all. Ascending into heaven, he sat down at the right hand of thy majesty on high, and he shall come again to render unto every man according to his works. And he hath left with us as memorials of his saving passion these things which he hath set forth according to his, his commandments. For when he was about to go to his voluntary, never memorable and life-giving death, in the night in which he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy and immaculate hands. And when he had showed it unto thee, the God and Father, and given thanks, and blessed it, and hallowed it, and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sins. In like manner, having taken the cup of the fruit of the vine and mingled it and given thanks, and blessed it and hallowed it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you shall drink this, eat this bread and drink this cup, you shall proclaim my death and confess my resurrection. Wherefore, O Master, we also, having in remembrance of saving passion and life-giving Christ, this three-day entombment and resurrection from the dead, this ascension into heaven and sitting at the right hand of thee, God and Father in heaven and his glorious and fearful second coming. Thine own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and Especially our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. Yeah. 
saw the church was to be into the world. Give peace unto her who has purchased with the precious blood of thy Christ. Establish thou this holy house even unto the end of the age. Be mindful, O Lord, of those who have set before thee these gifts and those for whom and through whom and behalf of whom they have offered them. Be mindful, O Lord, of those who bear fruit and do good works on the holy church. Remember the poor. Requite them with thy rich and heavenly things. Heavenly gifts. Give them things earthly for things he heavenly, things heavenly for things earthly, things eternal for things temporal, for things, things incorruptible, things corruptible. Be mindful, Lord, of those in the deserts, the mountains, and caverns, and pits of the earth. Be mindful, Lord, of those in the, who live in virginity and reverence, in asceticism, and who lead a godly way of life. Be mindful, Lord, of all civil authorities and armed forces. Grant them a secure and lasting peace. Speak good things into their hearts concerning thy church and all thy people, that we in their tranquility may lead a calm and peaceful life in all reverence and godliness. Establish the good in thy goodness and make good the evil by thy benevolence. Be mindful, O Lord, of the people here present and of those who are absent for reasonable cause. And have mercy upon them and upon us according to the multitude of thy mercy. Fill their treasuries with every good thing. Maintain their marriage bond in peace and concord. Rear the infants, guide the young, support the aged, and encourage the faint-hearted. Collect the scattered and turn them from their wandering astray. And unite them to the holy Catholic and apostolic church. Set at, set at liberty those who are vexed by unclean spirits. Travel with those who journey by land and sea and air. Defend the widows, protect the orphans, free the captives, heal the sick. Be mindful, O God, of those who are under judgment, in minds in exile and bitter servitude in every tribulation, necessity, and danger, and all who beseech thy great loving kindness. And be mindful, O Lord our God, of those who love us and those who hate us and those who have enjoined us and worthy though we be to pray for them. And of all thy people, upon them all pour out thy rich mercy, granting to all their petitions which are unto salvation. And those whom we through ignorance or forgetfulness of the multitude of names have not remembered, do thou thyself remember, O God, who knowest the time of life and name of each, and knowest every man even from his mother's womb. For thou, O Lord, art the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the storm tossed, the haven of the voyager, the physician of the sick. Be thou thyself all things to all men, O thou who knowest every man, his petition, his dwelling place, and his need. Deliver, O Lord, this city and every city and countryside from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, the sword, foreign invasion, civil war, and sudden death. Among the first, be mindful, Lord, of our Father and Metropolitan Saba, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. Be mindful, Lord, of every bishop of the Orthodox who by the word of truth. Be mindful, also, O Lord, of my unworthiness according to the multitude of thy compassion. Pardon me every transgression, both voluntary and voluntary. Withhold not because of my sins the grace of the Holy, the Holy Spirit from these gifts here spent. Be mindful, O Lord, of the Presbytery, the Diaconate of Christ, every priestly order. Put not to confusion any one of us who stand about the Holy Altar. Visit us with thy benevolence, O Lord. Manifest thyself unto us in thy rich compassion. Grant us temperate and healthful seasons, the gentle showers upon the earth of fruitfulness. Bless the crown of the year of thy goodness. Make the schisms of the churches to cease. Quench the ragings of hostile nations. Speedily destroy by the power of thy Holy Spirit uprisings of heresies. Receive us all into thy kingdom, showing us to be sons of the light and sons of the day. And grant unto us thy peace and thy love, O Lord our God. For all things hast thou given unto us. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our God who loveth mankind, receiving them upon his holy, most heavenly and ideal altar, as a savor of spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy Lord, on us, God, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. 
whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Guide a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
not forgive those who hate us.
thy people and bless thine inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. Worshiping the undivided trinity. For he has saved us. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens and thy glory over all the earth. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Taken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life giving and dear and mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God.
honored with him at Sinope and Closet, the rights of Father Lucius, the devout monk, St. Serapion, Archbishop of Novgorod, the rights of Father Daniel of Perislava Zaleski, the Holy New Martyr George of Aquilina, the Fool for Christ's sake of Rubrica, St. Deacon, Patriarch of Moscow, Apostle of America, and all the saints, the God have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good and loved man. to Jesus Christ. We have the Sunday School dismissal and then a few announcements. Everybody, if you're not a part of the Sunday School program, please, please stay in your seats. We're going to make our three prostrations together before the cross. And then when you come to venerate, you don't need to make the prostrations. And remember, there's a little bit of the true cross. I'll point it out before we start. piece of the true cross in the little box that is waxed, I guess, bees waxed to that, that bigger cross there. And what a blessing it is for us. Father James, do you have that? Can you take out the piece of St. Basil? So, so Father James has a relic of St. Basil the Great that he's going to hold in his hands for you to venerate as well. We're very rich in, in history, our connections to Christ, are we serious, you asked. And if we are serious Christians, we will not defend ourselves. And thank you for that, that hard but liberating word, Father. By your prayers, I hope we can all live up to that. Say it again. He said we can't live up to that. Why did you tell us to do it then? So here is the here is the spot right there. Before the
Visitors who are with us, it's a joy to have you here today, and we invite you to the coffee hour. I think it's hosted by our, our catechumens. Thank you. Welcome, visitors. Please come to the coffee hour. Especially happy to welcome Father James and Korea Linda. I don't, Korea Linda. Thank you for your beautiful words yesterday. They shared their stories of sorrow their, and their grief experiences with us. And they encouraged us to learn how to listen and to not be afraid to share the difficulties, the sorrows in our life. And I, I was thinking about that last night when I was falling asleep, how the whole of our Christian faith is reading again and again and again, celebrating, retelling the story of Jesus Christ, the history, the tragedy, the victory of Jesus Christ, his holy mother, his holy apostles and prophets and all the saints. 
and we don't shy away from these difficult things. And because of that, we are strong. So thank you very much for coming from, in, I keep wanting to say Indiana, Illinois, a little, little further. Anything else you want to say, Father? What? I'm so thrilled by how many children came here. Wow. Here, I mean, really, wow. And the church is full. Okay. Glory to God. So we're halfway through Lent. The, the Feast of the Cross marks the halfway. And if you're tired of fasting, that's okay. Keep going. If you're wondering... Why am I doing this? It's not working. It's okay. <laughs> Keep going. What are we trying to do with this? We're trying to take out the rocks from the soil of our heart so that the seed of the gospel can bear more fruit in our lives, trying to draw closer to Christ. Prayer and fasting and almsgiving. Do not what's called the, the fast of the demons. Do not fast without increased prayer and almsgiving. Please do not fast so you can lose weight. Losing weight is not a bad thing for some of us. But that's not why we're fasting. We're fasting to draw nearer to God. So we have to be praying more. We have to be reading the scriptures more. Half, Lent is halfway over. And that means if you haven't done your confession, it's time to do that. Please make your confessions before Lazarus Saturday. Their service is Monday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday morning, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday morning. And I'm here for 99% of those. And Father James Thayer is here for, for them as well. Come before, come after confession. Reach out to me or to him if you need to schedule something. We're happy to do that. So don't, don't, uh, we put our hands to the plow and let's not look back. But let's stay focused on the course. Uh, today at 1.30 our choir is uh, assembling here to, to sing a concert for the life of Christ. Celebrating the Lord's life and death and resurrection. And this is a, a re outreach effort to the people in our area. I don't know how many will come, but if you pray for them to come and if pray for the ones that come and, and come to listen to the beautiful concert yourself, then God will be glorified in the offering and may he be glorified in those who receive the offering of this concert. Are there other announcements? Anything else? Okay. So we're going to, we made our three bows together, our three prostrations. When you come forward, you can just uh, bow one time. We're not come skipping and whistling and chewing gum, of course, in church, but for the sake of uh, brevity, I guess. Because our service was so short already, we want for the sake of making sure we can get to eat and all of that.
a communicant of thy holy things. I thank thee that thou hast found safe me thee and worthy to partake of thine immaculate and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who didst both die for us and rise again, and didst bestow upon us these thy dread and life-giving mysteries, for the benefiting and sanctification of our souls and bodies, grant that they may be for me also unto healing of soul and body, unto the averting of everything contrary thereto, unto the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, unto the peace of my spiritual powers, unto faith unashamed, unto love unfeigned, unto increase of wisdom, unto the fulfillment of thy commandments, unto growth in thy divine grace and the attainment of thy kingdom, that preserved by them in thy holiness I may ever remember thy grace, and henceforth live not unto myself, but unto thee our master and benefactor. And thus life of this life is ended in the hope of eternal life. I may attain unto everlasting rest for the voice of those who be festival is unceasing, and the delight of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is boundless. For thou art the true desire and unutterable joy of those who love thee. O Christ our God and all creation, him and thee forever. Amen. O Master Christ our God, King of the ages and maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things which thou hast bestowed upon me, and for this partaking of thine immaculate and life-giving mysteries. Wherefore I pray thee, who art good and lovest mankind, keep me under thy protection and in the shadow of thy wings, and grant unto me with a pure conscience, and even unto my last breath, to partake of thy holy things, unto forgiveness of sins, and unto life everlasting. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of good things, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thou who willingly dost give thy flesh to me as food, thou who art the part of the unworthy, and worthy, consume me not, O my Creator, who let it pass my body parts, and my joints, my rights, my heart. For thou, the doors of all my transgressions, cleanse my soul and hollowed out my thoughts. Make firm my knees and my bones likewise, and lighten us one of my five senses. Establish me holy in thy fear, and ever shelter me, guard, and keep me from every soul corrupting deed and word. Cleanse me, purify, and control me. Adore me, teach me, enlighten me. Show me to be a dwelling place of thy spirit, and no what and no wise to dwell in place of sin. That for me, thy habitation, through the entrance of thy communion, every evil deed and every passion, they be as for fire. As it persists as I bring to thee, O the sanctified, the leaders of the bodily's powers, thy forerunner, thy wise apostles, and beside thee, thy immaculate and your mother, do thou receive their praise, O my Christ, who art compassionate, and make thy servant to be a child of light, thou alone of with one heart the sanctification and splendor of our souls, and to thee as God, and Master, day by day, we all ascribe glory. May thy holy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be unto me for life eternal, and thy precious blood unto forgiveness of my sins. May this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness, and at thy fearful second coming, make me the sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory, through the intercession of the Holy Mother, and I will mother, and of all thy saints, Amen. O holy Lady Theotokos, light of my darkened soul, my hope, my shelter, my refuge, my consolation, and my joy, I thank thee that thou wast accountably worthy and all the unworthy to be a partaker of the immaculate body and precious blood of thy Son. But do thou who gavest birth to the true life, enlighten the spiritual eyes of my heart. O thou who didst spare the fountain of immortality, enliven thou me who lie dead in sin. O compassion-loving Mother of the merciful God, have mercy on me and grant me humility and contrition of heart, and humility in my thoughts and deliverance from the bondage of my vain imaginings, and account me worthy even unto my last breath, to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the immaculate mysteries, unto the healing of both soul and body, and grant unto me tears of repentance and confession, that I may humbly and glorify the all the days of my life, for blessed and glorified art thou unto me. 